Hey guys, welcome to my third cash envelope stuffing for January. So I am technically one week behind because I didn't do a stuffing last week. The video I uploaded last week was actually from the week before. So um, from here on out, my videos are going to be up to date. Today is January 20th that I'm filming this, but this will be for the January 21st week just because I know I'm not going to have time tomorrow to film, so I'm filming a day early. A few things to catch you guys up on this week. My my paycheck breakdown is a little bit different. This is one that I just created myself on Excel just to fit my category. So I have expenses, bills, sinking funds, and cash envelopes. It just works a little bit better for me. And also, I got a new iPad, so that's a reason why... I'm not really stuffing that much. The iPad that I had before this, my boyfriend bought for me in, I want to say 2018. So I actually ended up selling that one because I am back to school or well, I will be by the time this video is up. But I just wanted a new iPad just because I've, I'm just like really nervous. Like I've always had like exam anxiety, but not like this because the course hasn't even started and I already feel nervous for the exam that's all the way at the end of May. So I sort of just wanted to get a new iPad just to sort of encourage myself to, you know, study more and stuff like that. Um, I sold my old iPad and the old Apple Pencil because the Apple Pencil for that iPad doesn't work with any of the new iPads. And I sold that actually to my coworker's sister. So I used the money from that sale to buy my new iPad, which is the iPad Air 4. And I paid $450 out of pocket. Um, so that just basically came from the money in my bank account that I wasn't allocating to anything. But that was a lot of rambling. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. And as always, I'm gonna start with my cash envelopes. So this binder and all my binders are from Budget with Trisha. She is back now. She just posted two videos and her shop is open. So if you guys want to get yourself a binder, because I know a lot of people ask me where I get my binders from. They're from Budget with Trisha. So yeah, she's linked down below. We're going to go ahead and get started with personal. So personal is getting $5. So we now have $10 in personal. I debated taking money out of this envelope for my iPad but there was only $5 in it, so I was like, is that really worth it? Migo will be getting $10. He is almost out of the food that he eats. Um, we tried a new brand this time, but I don't think he liked it very much, so after he's done this bag, we're gonna go back to the old brand that he ate. So he now has 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 10, 25. So Migo has $425. I don't think he'll need it this week, maybe next week or even the week after that, but being prepared is always good. Holidays is getting skipped, so we still have the three $5 bills in the holidays for a total of 15. Hair is only getting $5 this week. And by the way, if my lighting is weird, I'm sorry, I'm actually filming this at night. So hair now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, and 75 in hair. Okay, next up is home, and home will be getting $5, so we have 10 in there, and by adding another 5, we end up with 15. I'm also burning a new candle, guys. This is also from Mala the brand. I love their candles, but this one is one I've never tried before. It's called Milk and Sugar. It smells so good. It's super sweet. It's like a bakery kind of scent, but it's not buttery like I feel like a lot of other bakery scented candles are this one is more like sugary and I do like that so if you guys are into that sort of scent definitely recommend so next up is my boyfriend and he got ten dollars so now he has 20 40 50 60 70 80 85 and 90 so he has 90 dollars in his envelope and then giving will get five dollars so it now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. This envelope is also from Budget with Trisha. So if you guys were wondering, you could get this from Budget with Trisha. And my holidays envelope is from Brianna Life and Budget. And both of those channels I love, and they're always listed down below. Okay, um, okay, I messed up the order of the categories, but beauty will be getting $5. So Beauty now has 10, 20, and 25. 
And then clothing will also get $20. I mean, clothing will also get $5. So now we have $10 in clothing. Okay, and then the last envelope in here is gifts. And gifts will be getting a $20 bill. I did spend some money out of this envelope because it was my boyfriend's uncle's birthday. So I just chipped in $50 to get him a gift card to the mall. So gifts now has 20, 40, 60, 80, and 90. So $90 in gifts. I have a friend's birthday coming up in February. And then after that, I believe it's my mom's birthday and my boyfriend's birthday. And they're both in April. Okay. So moving on to sinking funds. Starting off with cash savings, cash savings will get $5. And I actually debated pulling money out of this envelope for my iPad as well, but I figured I have the money in my account just like not allocated to anything. I might as well use that and then keep saving my cash savings. So cash saving has 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, and 115. So this would have helped a little bit with my iPad, but I still would have had to pay over $300 from that bank account anyways, so I figured I might as well just use the money in my account. Okay, next up is car. Whoops. Car is getting a $5 bill, so we now have 100, 150, 200, 10, 20, 25, 30, and 35. So car has 235. This is for any sort of car maintenance or if I want to buy a new car. Obviously this envelope is very far from being able to buy a new car, but I have something started at least. Next is school and school is getting 155. So we'll grab the 100, 150, and a five. I have to enroll for my second capstone basically by the end of the month. So um, hopefully I remember to do that this weekend. But once I do, some money is going to be coming out of here and they actually increase the prices for each of the courses. So I'm not happy about that, but that's okay because we have plenty saved in here. So school in the bank, we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 3,500, 3,600, 700, 800, 850, 900, 900. 50, 970, 990, 4010, 4030, 4040, 4045, 4050, 4055. So 4055. Uh, so sad. I think um, after the price increase, each my my second capstone is gonna be like thirteen hundred and fifty dollars. It was only a little bit of an increase, but you know. Obviously, we would prefer not to have an increase, right? Okay, so YouTube is getting $5. So we now have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60 for YouTube. If there's anything in particular you guys want to see in my giveaway, please feel free to let me know down below because I'm still brainstorming giveaway ideas. Okay, next is taxes, and taxes is getting 100, so I'll just grab 250s here. So taxes now has 500 in the bank, 550, 600, 650, 700, 20, 40, 60, 85. So we have $785 for taxes. And then travel slash vacation is getting $10. I'm actually um, going along with the whole I don't feel ready for this exam or like I feel really bad exam anxiety for this exam. Um, I'm thinking what might help is if I book a trip for June because my exam is a three day exam at the end of May. Um, I just feel like if I have a vacation lined up for the next month in June, it might make me not dread the exam so much. Obviously June is quite a bit away so I don't know how everything's gonna be with COVID and all but anyways vacation has 500 in the bank and then we have 10 and 15 dollars in cash so total 515. Okay moving on to Christmas. Christmas is getting five dollars so we have 15 dollars in Christmas now.
And then last but not least, it's 20, or I mean, it's 52 week challenge, which is getting $25. So like I mentioned, I did skip last week. So I'm going to be stuffing two amounts, but like I also mentioned, we don't have that much to stuff. So I'm going to be stuffing $25. So I crossed out a five and a 20 and I'll, I actually already filled out this tracker. I just haven't stuffed it yet. So total of $25. So 52 week challenge now has 20, 40, 60, 70, and 75. Whoops. And that is it for my sinking funds envelope. I mean binder. And last but not least, we have bills and expenses. Okay, so first up is groceries and groceries will be getting $40. So I'm just gonna grab two 20s right here. I don't know why I bother with this because it always starts at zero because I never have any rollover. Gas, um, so we have like 10 days left in the month and we still have quite a bit of gas money. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20. So we still have $120 for gas. We definitely spent a lot less money in gas than usual. Um, I think it's because we basically only drive one car now. So yeah, that probably helps. Spending is getting $70. I realize this is out of order, so I'll definitely fix that for next time. But I have my um, CPA workshop this weekend for both days. So probably not going to be a very eventful weekend. So hopefully not a lot of spending. But in case my workshop goes bad and I just want to treat myself to something after, that's totally a choice. Um, okay, and then for drinks, which is in my card holder, I'm going to be giving myself $30. So let me find the wrinkliest 20 and the wrinkliest 10. Okay, so $30 in my card holder. There we go. And then, whoops. And then... Last but not least is my bills. So these envelopes are from Budget with Ali. This is also very out of order, so I definitely need to rearrange the order, but utilities will be getting 20, and it's currently empty because we just paid our electricity bill. So the only utility left to pay this month is the Wi-Fi bill, which is due at the end of the month. Next is subscriptions, and subscriptions is also empty, so we're gonna be adding $5 to subscriptions. Next is investing, and investing is getting $5, so let's do this. So investing now has 20, 40, 50, and 60, so $60 in investing. Credit cards is getting $15 as usual. And last video, I sort of tried to explain what my credit card envelope is for, and the word I was looking for is buffer. So thank you, Lauren, for reminding me of the word that I was trying to say, but this is basically a buffer. So credit cards now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, and 110. So we have 110 in credit cards. I also consider taking money out of my credit cards envelope to pay for my iPad, but Again, ultimately, I just decided to just take the money out of my bank account. And then this envelope, um, this came with the set that I got from Allie, but I just don't, I didn't have time to make a label for it, but this is going to be for my student loans. I don't know if you guys have been watching me for a while, but I do have student loans. That is my only debt. Um, I don't have any like credit card debt or anything like that. If you guys want to know a little bit more about how I'm planning to pay my student loans, you can go ahead and watch my 2021 financial goals video that I posted last year. Um, but basically, I'm not too worried about paying off my student loans. So I'm only paying like a little bit every month. But this week's student loans is going to get $60. So we now have 20, 40, 50, and 60 in student loans. And that is it. So yeah, a bit of a smaller cash envelope stuffing this week, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Net. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Um, I will be back next week. I swear, no more skipping week. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!